I believe I could do do it all. I could be funny and I'll also showcase uh, other abilities as far as acting, like even with myself in the Close Friends web series, you know, just showing a different side, you know, instead of me being goofy and all that, yeah. Kevin was being disrespectful though. You don't talk to your boss like that. Okay. All right, first of all, let's just get one thing straight. It's Malcolm, okay? I'm talking to you as Kevin right now, all right? What he did, was disrespectful and him trying to say he's only been for what how long couple, like a month if that two weeks i think he said we we'll say two weeks right two months two months whatever two months and he's got gray hairs and stuff like that come on man i've been at this job for how long now Appreciate you. you know, we kick it a lot tonight. No problem. You know I got you. Anything you need, I'll take care of you. Oh man, so I said thank you. And with that being said, Mr. Randy Pacer, I would like to welcome you to the Value Mart family. Wow, thank you so much, man. I appreciate no, this. No problem. Monday, your first day, we have your name tag in the uniform waiting for you. Alright. I'm still trying to accept the fact that you have a child with another woman. So I have to get comfortable with all of this. Well, you know, I'm new here. I don't really know anyone. I have a few boxes that have to get out of storage on Saturday. I was wondering if you could help me out. Uh, I mean, I could check my schedule. I'll get back to you by the end of the week. Is that cool? There's this new girl that works there. And I just can't help myself, man. Seeing her at work is just testing my willpower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh, Kevin. Wake up. Are you serious? How did you ever sleep? It's 11 o'clock. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, why did you wake up earlier? Look, I'm. I'll give you one simple task, man. Are you fucking kidding me? The account I gave you was a $2.6 million deal. We're supposed to be managing their assets. Now we're to get our assets managed. <laughs> Calm down, man. I've been here for what, a couple of months? And now I'm getting gray hairs and high blood pressure? Maybe you weren't built for this job. Maybe you just got in too deep. Wait, are you seriously undermining me? I was actually gonna push it to the side. Maybe just write you up, but nah, you're fired. Are you fucking serious? You can't fire me. After all the money I made this company, I should have your job! Yeah, but you don't! <laughs> you wasn't handling your job here. Just like how you wasn't handling it with Stacy. How's Stacy, by the way, anyway? Is she still as sweet as I remember, fuck boy? Hey, 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 hey! Get, him, get this piece of trash out of here, man! Let's go. Get him out. Let's go. Come on, right here. I can walk. I can walk! Take you away from here. I'll take you, no girl. I won't forsake you. I need you in my world, baby. Thing is that I need you. Can't see me without you. That's why you are my girl. I just wanna be wrapped up around. I'm so gone off the things you. 
So why are you here exactly? I don't know, actually. Typical. You never know. That's not true. Look, I... I came here to see you one last time before I... Get married? Yeah, I am. To Nathan. Kind of figured. I mean... I noticed your little blast on Facebook. I ain't tripping though. But why are you here? Shouldn't you be at home with your fiance? You probably just here to rub it in my face, huh? No, I'm not trying to rub it in your face. It's just, I needed to clear my head and make sure that I was- You're making the right decision? Or you're scared. Just like you were scared the first time we were getting engaged. So I'm tired of fighting with you. I mean, I tried. But, sure enough, you're the one being disloyal. Disloyal? Yeah, you, disloyal. You always accuse me of cheating, but you're the one being sneaky. Running around behind my back, back. Wait a minute. For the record, we weren't together, one. And two, I caught you numerous times. You just could never admit it. Like you can't even do it now. That was a bigger issue. How many times did I catch you, Tristan? One, two, three. I lost count by now. You know, now I know why I really came over here. To verify that I didn't have feelings for you and... I know I don't. Bye, Tristan. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Look. Hey. How you doing, man? Tori, this is Nikki. Nikki, this is Tori. This is an old friend of mine. Just stopping by. Ah, oh, hey. Um, Nikki. Tori? Why does that name sound so familiar? Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a common name, I guess. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Same here. Are you, are you staying for dinner? No, nah, she's on me. She's actually on the way out the door, right? Um, she was just letting me know that she's getting married. She had an home to her fiance. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, he's right, by the way. I, I actually do have to go pick up some things for the wedding. You're picking things up for the wedding? Shouldn't your wedding planner be doing that? Uh, yeah, you're right, but um, she's busy and I don't mind helping out. That's nice of you. She's a nice girl. If you don't mind me asking, how far along are you? What is it? Eight? Oh, eight. Eight months. Eight months? Wow. Congratulations. Do so you want to touch it? Oh, no, I... I no. <laughs> You feel that? Yeah, I do. It's great. Well, I should be getting going. Yeah. I'll see you guys. off at my mom's. I just got caught in the work. Why? I can watch her. That's cool, babe. My mom already know I'm on the way. Call her and cancel. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. 
What? <laughs> you amaze me, you know that? That's why I love you so much. Come on. Always being a team player. And most women wouldn't even deal with half of this mess and bring you through. <laughs> we better go to work before you're late. Alright, I'm gonna finish this when I get back. Mm -hmm. I'll be waiting. I'll see you in a few hours. Alright. Okay, so lift your arms up and to the side. Further. Further. I need to get the measurements to the tailor as soon as possible. You're right, let me start playing with you. It's okay. So, how are you feeling? You nervous yet? Nervous? Nah, uh, not really. Maybe a little bit. But I know I'm making the right decision. After all we've been through in the past couple of years, I feel like we could go through pretty much anything and come out stronger. Plus, she's been the one since middle school. Even though I didn't notice her at first, we always had this chemistry. We always seemed to click. It's amazing. You're ready. Ready? Yeah, ready for marriage. Spread them. Nathan? What are you doing? Hey, babe. Hey, hon. We were just talking about you. Hey, what's going on, babe? Hey, babe. You good? I'll be right back. All right. Marquia, I got something for you, babe. Yo. Babe, where's Marquia? Nia came to pick her up. Why? She said she wasn't at your mom's house, so she came over here. And you just let her take her? Yeah. Why? What's wrong? This was my weekend. I had two more days with her. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Man, I should have just took her to my mom's house. Next time, just let me know all the details, and I'll make sure to check her. Next time? That's not going to be a next time. Why not? Look, I gave you one thing to do, and you couldn't even do that. And now I'm missing out on time with my daughter. You got to be kidding me. Does it look like I'm kidding? You know what? Remind me to never do any more favors for you. I didn't ask you to do me any favors. You the one that said you wanted to watch her. And I come over and she's not even here? Look, I don't even like random people around my daughter anyway. Calm down before you say something else you'll regret. Regret? You know what I regret? I regret letting you watch my damn daughter. That's what I regret! <sighs> Randy, man, I gotta say, man, my niece was definitely right about you. If you keep up this good work, man, one day, all this could be yours. Wow. All of, uh... Swifty Supermarket. All of it. I can't wait. Waiting on your ride? Yeah, I'll be here any minute now, man. You need me to stay with you? There's no nah, problem, I can stay okay. with you. Nah, you good. All right, but in the meantime, you can take the trash out for me. All right, right the back. Bro. It's right around the corner. No problem, man, I got you. Sorry, sir, but we just closed five minutes ago. Oh, man, man, I just want a pack of cigarettes, bro. I'm sorry, but just a too little too late. Look, man, money talks, man. Go on here, man. Just grab me a pack. You keep the change, bro. Money talks. Hey, Randy, go grab me a pack of cigarettes right quick. I'm about to open the shop back up. We'll appreciate it. Hey, Randy, what kind, what kind you need? Um, I think cools. I still cools. Cool. Hey, Randy, you heard me talking to you? Raheem? Raheem. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, no, you tell me, man. It's the new job you working on? Yes, it's me right here. New job. How you, how you know this guy right here? What did you say his name was? <laughs> no, what what you say his name was? Randy. Nah, his name's not Randy. It's Raheem Pace. Raheem who? Alright, look. I, I can explain, man. Hey, oh, 
you fucking stupid. Do you know what you just did was a crime, right? Do falsify your identification, that's a federal offense. And once you start messing with the IRS, I cannot and will not help you. But forget all that, man. What were you thinking? I, I was trying to make some money, man. Legit way. That's it. Legit? What was legit about anything you did back there, Raheem? Exactly. But give me one good reason why I should report you. Just one. I mean, I wasn't out there fighting. I wasn't dealing with nothing. I wasn't doing anything. I was bagging groceries and stocking shelves. That's it. I had to support myself like a man. My savings running low, I had to think quick. Nah, I don't wanna hear that, man. That's not good enough. You know, I used to have faith in you, Raheem. I know this is your first offense, but you making me regret thinking highly of you for real. All right, you are right. I was stupid. I should've went through your connections or something. But, I mean, with my experience, in my degree, I thought it would have landed a job easy. But nobody was trying to hire ex con, man. And look, man, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you one last chance. But you mess this one up and we're through. I'm serious. I'll call some of my connections down at the work release program and see if they'll take you. But if you need anything, man, call me first. Whatever, man. I'll call you soon, man. Thank you. Silence, that's all. A drink or two, Kevin? Mm-hmm. A drink or two. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why do you ask? Because you've been drinking so much lately. I just... Are you not happy or something? I was just having a couple of drinks. Why are you making such a big deal out of it? You're so annoying sometimes. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm annoying. You know what? Excuse me for being annoyed. You just sit here and you have your little drinks because obviously you don't need me here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean it. You know I've been having a rough time lately. I just... I just drink because it relaxes me. But Kevin, it's not even about it calming you down. It's like you're relying on it for your happiness. Like, what about me? Am I not enough for you? Did you come here just to pick a fight or something? No, I didn't come here just to pick a fight. But at the same time, I've been noticing that you have yet another addiction. First it was coke, now it's liquor. What about me? Sometimes I wish you were addicted to me sometimes. Yo, I hate when you talk like that. I'm not addicted and you know I love you. You know, honestly, I really wish I could believe you, Kevin, but you're just drunk and you, you know, you're not even in the right mind. I got fired today. I messed up on this huge project and I lost a major client and, and they, they fired me. They let me go. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Kevin, I, you have to stop. You have to stop drinking. It's going to cost you your life if you don't change it. I mean, first your job and honestly, if you don't stop, I'm done. Look, I joined the program because I needed help with my addiction and you did too because of your past. I think you really should come back with me. No. I'm not going back there ever again. I'm cured. You're not cured. You can never be cured. I said I'm good. You know what? I'm done. Because obviously I'm just wasting my breath because you're not even going to listen to me. I'm out of here. Come on. Just stop. Get off talk me. to no, me. No, I just want to talk me. about it, okay? Should have seen it from the start. Why did I have to fall so hard? Thought you were going to be the one.
You had me for what you're deceiving high Oh no, 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 my heart couldn't see I wanted you to be right for me This time I let my guard down And you dropped the bomb Damn, you got me good but I ain't mad at you